Hey everybody, and thank you for stopping by my channel. It's beautiful Black Rican, where beauty is ageless. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Come on and join the family. Over here we do hair, nails, and makeup. I am four years into makeup and loving every moment of it. So come on over here and join me and let's have some fun. If you wanna see how I got this look using these products, Stick around. All right, let's get started, everybody. First, we are going to start with the brows. Now, as I said earlier, we are working with a lot of Morphe products. Um, probably won't go outside of Morphe too much, um, maybe five products at the most, but the remainder of the products that I'll be using tonight is Morphe. All right, first things first, this is new for me, probably not for you. And this is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. Boom. And this one is in Mocha. So let's open her up and see what we're working with tonight. Okay, cute little pencil. Um, here's the top part. And then a cute little spoolie. So, let's go. And if you're wondering what's going on with my hair, don't come for me. <laughs> I'm waiting for my correct color to come in. Um, so I'm using up old hair. Um, I was blonde earlier today. And now I'm whatever this is with some dark mixed in it. <laughs> so we just go keep it moving. Don't come for me, it's all good. This is quarantine, okay? Come on. All right, let's see how this baby works. Oh, very thin too, you guys. Let me show you that. So boom, let's go. And don't get scared. I know you see me all over with this brow, but what I do is I use a wipey to clean it up before I clean it up, okay? <laughs> And the makeup wipe I'll be using tonight is the Neutrogena. This is my favorite wipe. And I'm actually upset because I'm out. I think I have maybe four packs left. And I do rely on these wipes a lot. Just works for me. All right, so let's keep going. Boom. And 
let's just brush these out a little more. Okay, I'm gonna go outside and use the Women of Hearts Beauty. This is the, our brown eyebrow gel. And this is just gonna keep them in place. All right, boom, that is done. So let's go on in. Next, we are going to do the eyeshadow of it all. So I'm going to use the Morphe Eyelid Primer. And I'm also going to use a little bit of the Morphe concealer. I will put the color below in the description. And I'm just going to use this under the eyebrow. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. And let's take care of this real quick. See how quick the concealer dries, you guys. You really don't have a lot of time to work with it, so be quick. All right, that's done. Now I am going to go outside of Morphe again. I'm gonna use this Ofra pressed powder oil control. To set this. And I do this because I have very oily eyelids. And for eyeshadow today, we will be using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. And I'll put the colors that I use down in the description below. All right, for my transition color, I will be using this color. And I don't know what I'm doing gonna go for it. And I'm actually doing old habits, so we're just gonna lay this down and then I'm gonna go back to what works best for me. habits is um from watching all the other beauty gurus I need to just continue to do what works best for me and this right here isn't it so let's get it together shall we boom the next color I'm going to go in with is this bright orange. And I'm gonna put this in the crease.
next color I'm gonna go in with is gonna be this color here. I should have said the first color is going to go above the crease. This color is going in the crease. All right, now I'm just gonna take a blending brush and try to take some of the harsh lines out. Now I'm going to call myself trying to cut the crease. So this is about to be fine because I really want to use this pretty yellow. On the lid. So let's see how that works. I'm gonna use the Morphe concealer and the Morphe eye primer together. Y'all pray for me, but we are about to see if we can cut the crease. Boom. Boom. And I'm gonna go back in with that Ofra pressed powder. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go back in with this color. I'm just making sure that I have it placed where I want it. Now, let's go in with the shallow, shall we?
Boom. And now I'm just gonna go back into the other two colors just to brighten it up a little more. That is it for the eyes for now. So let's go ahead and close her up for now. And it's time to clean up. So once again, my Neutrogena wipe. get into the face so first I'm going to use my Tatcha this is the silk peony this is the eye cream put a little bit of that there Bone, and I'm gonna use two primers. Um, the first one is the Morphe Foundation Primer. Boom. And the second one is the Professional from Benefit. So hopefully these will mix decent. I have a lot of pores that I want to cover, and I know Benefit will do that for me. And then the Morphe. All right, and for foundation today, we will be using Morphe. This is an F2.100, and this is the Fluidity Foundation. All right, and let's work her in. Boom. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe concealer again to brighten.
All right, and next we are going to go in with the Morphe bronzer. This is the Blend the Rules. I'm going to use this to contour. I'm trying this, I like it. All right, boom. Now I'm gonna take my blending brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics and just blend. All right, and I'm just gonna go down the nose again with a little bit more of the Morphe concealer. Boom. And now I'm gonna take my Morphe. This is the Bacon Set Setting Powder, translucent. Boom. And just set everything in place. Well, all of the products really uh, that I'm using um, is matte, so I really don't have to do a whole lot. I'm just going to take some here to break that up. Here to do the same. Boom. And to set the darker areas, I'm going to use the BH Studio Pro. This is Master Finish Pressed Powder in shade number 230. Boom. All right, for blush, this is new to me, 8W Warm Master. And let's open her up. And these are her colors. And I'm gonna go in with lightly tapping provocative. And this is going to be pigmented. Take my blending brush and blend that in some more. Boom. All right, now before I get to the finishing up the face, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my spray. This is the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. 
she is new to me, may not be new to you. She smells good. Boom. And let's dry this up. And while that continues to dry, let's do some highlight. This one is new high impact highlighter and spark. Oh, I like spark. I know I go crazy with the highlighter. Let me put this brush down. And by the way, this is a brush from um, Women of Hearts Beauty. You can purchase it online. I'm also going to take this and put it in the tear duct and on the brow bone. And I already know you guys are sitting there screaming at me. Don't you worry about a thing. All right, boom. For lashes tonight, we'll be using the Morphe Premium Lashes. This is in So Glamorous. And I will be using Lily Lash Glue, which is All right, and while I'm waiting for the glue to get tacky, I'm about to use the Morphe Editorial Pencil. And I'm just gonna put this here. Boom. To line my lips, I'm going to use Morphe Linda. Y'all know I can't see it, but I'm gonna use this Morphe lipstick and I'll put the color in the description below. And I wanna lighten that up a little bit, so I'm gonna use this Kiss Me by Live Glam and I will put the color in the description below. Boom. 
boom, just like that. And for the bottom lashes, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. mascara. spray one more time and you guys this is the final product using mostly Morphe Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join the family and like and comment. I will get back to you. Also, remember, beauty is ageless. Be blessed, everyone.